Hey guys. So I recently implanted myself with a chip and I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Namely, what is it? Why in the world would I do this to myself? And what can I do with it? So I thought I would make this short video to address those questions. So first of all, what is it? So it's this little NFC chip. Uh, it's two millimeters by 12 millimeters encased in bio glass. Uh, and it's NFC type two compliant, which means it's uh, readable at 13.56 megahertz by uh, almost any NFC reader that's out there. Actually, I'm pretty sure any NFC reader, not necessarily RFID, which could be on the low frequency. Anyway, it's got about uh, seven bytes of, of serial memory, which is password protected, and that's kind of the UID. Uh, and then it's got 880 bytes of, of user programmable memory, so I can put info in there and read and write and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's uh, implanted right there in my hand. I don't know if you can see that at all, just between the, the muscle and the skin there. So why in the world would I do this to myself? Um, honestly, just because I kind of wanted to. Uh, it's a bit of a novelty, and I thought it was kind of neat and kind of cool. Uh, is it 100% secure? No. Is it 100% future-proof? Definitely not. Uh, but I'm a computer scientist, and uh, the idea of being able to authenticate myself to my systems easily and, and having this, you know, this scannable thing in my body that I can write little bits of information into sounded kind of cool to me. Uh, some people think it's really creepy, but hate is going to hate. Anyway, so now the fun part. What can I do with it? So I told you that we had some user programmable memory in there. So if I just open up any phone, right now I've got my contact information. So if I meet somebody at a conference or somewhere and they want to exchange contact information, I can just tap their phone and... There you go, and there you go, all my contact information is in there. There's also uh, a bunch of other stuff I can load onto it. I can load just some random text, some data, um, social networks, videos, small files and GIFs, some emails, phone numbers, locations, street views, uh, emergency medical information, my Bitcoin address, so if a place does uh, support Bitcoin, then I, I can just scan in to pay, um, Wi-Fi network, uh, even if a, a hotel or a transit key is using 13.56 and you can get through their encryption, then you can copy it onto here as well. I have yet to do that, but I really, really want to. Uh, oh, and the fun one is with the, the UID authenticating myself to system. So for example, I've got this encrypted file on my, on my phone that does not, uh, it does not sync with anything. It is only on my phone. It is encrypted here. Uh, and to access this encryption, you have to scan as well as put in a pin, which you guys don't need to see. And then you can access some of the passwords that I like to carry around with me. But you know, if my phone's stolen and someone gets my pin, they still need this to be able to get to that file. Uh, I also wrote a little Python script and used an Arduino with an NFC reading shield to uh, authenticate myself to my computer, which you can see here. You can see screensavers on, just scan my hand. You can see that little blink. Turns off screensaver, types in my password. Bam, I'm into my computer. Cool. Uh, as well as my house. So I'm really bad at locking the front door. So I recently got this lock. Now I never will forget my keys. Keys are always on me. You can give family and friends their own tags. And it'll always lock the door behind me. So fiance uh, isn't going to be mad at me anymore. Well, not as much at least. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to keep on making little projects and little things I can use with it, but uh, I thought it was kind of neat, and maybe someone out there will too. Have a good one, guys.